Now, what they are saying, uh, these people, of course, that are criticizing what you've said and have disseminated very widely uh, into the scientific community, Galtung is regurgitating racist um, Norwegian material on uh, phrenology and things of that kind. It's uh, not at all. I mean, first of all, I'm not in any way influenced by Norwegian thinking. Not at all. I'm just, you know, watching around the world what people are thinking of when they think of uh, race. So, so your as simple as that. So it's not that you believe these things, but it's you're looking at society and you're saying, I find in society people think like this. That's exactly the point. Okay, because there's a, they've now, somebody was so... Um, uh, it's... Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. That's exactly you got it just right. So there is an article out uh, in Norway which is trying to frame the thing as Johan Galtung is eighty-seven, and so his mind was formed in a time when racist tropes were abundant in Norwegian society. What do you say to that? <laughs> Look, pure nonsense. Complete nonsense, you know. I have lived so many years in the U.S. in a very race-conscious country. Yes. Yeah. And are they going by color, by nuances between brown and white, and black and brown and white? It's in the U.S. Um, census, actually. Precisely. It's a central theme for organizing U.S. society. And it's not racist anymore, but it is um, accepted uh, sort of standard. Uh, I think it is racist. For many people. For some it is just a classification and means nothing. For others it is pure racism. Yes. Makes a lot of sense, yeah. Uh. So, uh, this guy sent you a book. He said, for Professor Emeritus Johann Galtung... He should read Measuring the Master Race, Physical Anthropology in Norway from 1890 to 1945. What do you say to him? Okay, 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 fine. But uh, he's sending me that book. Well, he sent you a link to that recommendation. I see, I see, I see, I see. Well, I'm probably not even going to have a look at it because, you know, it is not... A um, so-called scientific statement. It's my statement, my experience about how people think. Some people are a little bit conscious about head shape. You see, they left. I mean, this is not an anthropological analysis of race. This is an analysis of how people look at race. So that's what you did during that lecture. Precisely. But you know, I'm not. I'm talking about myths and thinking and how people are. And I mean, this is what I am working. I'm working on my people. I don't even know whether people can follow you into this. No, if they don't, that's their problem. So basically, what has happened is that um, these two articles that have been published uh, after your lecture are imputing to you what you. We're referring on about... Precisely. Excellent. Fine. All the best, you. Thanks for calling. Bye-bye, Johan. <laughs>